One in five adults, or nearly an estimated 60 million Americans, suffer from acid reflux or GERD. That's astounding. This can dramatically affect quality of life. So many people resort to proton pump inhibitors, or PPIs, to treat symptoms. But medical therapy doesn't treat the root cause. Now, even while on medications, Montel, GERD could lead to, unfortunately, esophageal cancer. Yeah. Well, today we're on location in Orange County, California, to learn more about a minimally invasive procedure for acid reflux called TIF. Take a look. The first symptoms of heartburn I can remember was age five, and I can remember my mom giving me some ketchup, and I told her, ketchup gives me heartburn, and she's like, you're five years old, you should not have heartburn from ketchup. The symptoms of reflux that I had were bloating in my stomach, the acid taste in my mouth, the acid flowing um, up through my throat, the sore throat, uh, scratchy voice, all the typical symptoms of GERD. In her 20s, Tori had her first endoscopy and was diagnosed with hiatal hernia. Her doctor said this could be causing GERD and she could continue taking PPIs to treat her symptoms. When I started taking the PPIs, I noticed that I started to gain weight. I was having a lot more bloating in my stomach area and just an overall feeling of unhealthiness. The Balancing Act met with Dr. Kenneth Chang, a specialist in interventional gastroenterology and esophageal diseases. The workup of a GERD patient starts with an upper endoscopy where we put a scope down and we're looking at the inside lining of the esophagus and stomach. Uh, we're looking to see if the inside valve is loose or the outside valve is loose. We're also looking for complications of acid reflux, such as precancerous barrettes, strictures, ulcerations, and that's why we do a comprehensive workup and we individualize the treatment options for the patient. By the time she was 40, the PPI stopped working. Tori was desperate for a solution. When I had my first consultation with Dr. Chang, he was very excited because he thought I would be a great candidate for the TIF procedure. And what was so appealing about it was how minimally invasive it was and what an easy recovery it would be and with basically no side effects. Tori received a C-TIF procedure, which is a combination of a laparoscopic hernia repair plus the TIF. The TIF procedure corrects the root cause of GERD, which is an anatomic defect at the gastroesophageal valve. It rebuilds the lower esophageal valve and restores the body's natural protection against reflux. The TIF procedure is performed endoscopically and allows the physician to repair or recreate the body's natural barrier to reflux. The TIF procedure is revolutionary because it really fills a large treatment gap by offering a less invasive endoscopic procedure and gets to the root of the problem. According to randomized controlled trials, over 80% of patients after a TIF procedure can completely come off their PPIs with great symptomatic control. A patient's condition will determine how frequently they will need a follow-up endoscopy. Some patients need follow-ups every three to five years, while others do not require any at all. Every time I have my follow-ups with Dr. Chang, I'm always telling him how this was such a life-changing procedure for me. Uh, the TIF was everything that they promised it would be and more. I have not had reflux and I can't even remember what it's like to have reflux. Now that I've had the TIF procedure, margaritas and red wine are always on the agenda and it's great to be able to do yoga, Pilates, do exercises that involve stretching and getting back to my dance roots where I couldn't do that for so long and it just feels great to be back doing things that I enjoy. If you're suffering from GERD and want to learn more about the TIF procedure for reflux, visit GERDhelp.com. And of course, you can always go to our website, thebalancingact.com. We'll be back right after this.